numbers, don't we? You know what that is? That's the branding of their property. Anytime you do something, they want to know what? Your social security number. When you make a transaction, you go to a bank. The cashier check that you work for. They want to know what's your brand number. That's what that social security number is, man. Which means that you're really all, we all property of the international banking family, man. Okay? That's why we don't got no gold, no silver. We don't got none of that because we're slaves. Contractual slaves. But See, I have dreamed. I have dreamed. Wait a minute. Who's, 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 who that sound like? Read it from the top. I have heard what the prophet said that prophesied lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed. I have dreamed. And everybody know that Martin Lucifer King is famous for that I have a dream speech. That's one of his famous speech. You ask anybody what do they know about Martin Lucifer King, they're going to say they know that he made a speech called I have a dream. And around his so-called birthday, they always play that damn stupid ass speech but now in that speech he sort of speaks out against the government and code he said i've been to the mountaintop he said I, he said i looked over i might not get there with you but we as people is going to get get there now if you know anything about the bible the kingdom was promised to who a nation the nation of israel through abraham isaac and jacob and Jacob was the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. So in, in, in essence, that's what he was saying in code. All right? But then after they, they used him, then they popped his ass, man. But it was all prophesied in the Bible. That's it. Yeah. It says, how long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Right. And you still, all right, brother, peace. And you still got niggas going around speaking lies in the name of the Lord. Like you got this nigga, a nigga called Bubble Lies, man. Just Google bubble lies. He's saying that you're going to have crackers, a remnant of Esau that's going to make it. You a goddamn lie, nigga. You, you, matter of fact, you a black Edomite, nigga. That's why you, why are you so obsessed with fucking crackers, man? Edomite. They don't care about you, man. Where's your big, large Edomite following? Surely he got a camp of, of Edomites, Moabites, Ishmaelites. Hell, they could do, the, the damn Jehovah Wickedness could do that. They can pull all them stupid bugged out nations together to push that crap. So you should have a camp with all these other nations in it. True or false? You a phony ass nigga, man. And basically you've been revealed over and over again, man. All right, only people that follow you is a bunch of dummies, man. And it ain't too many of them. Go ahead. Yeah, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. Right, Bubba Light Blackfish is a prophet of the deceit of his own heart. When you sit there and start teaching lies against the scriptures, you're deceiving your own self. When you say that the reincarnation is not in the Bible, you're a fucking fool, man. I just got to say it that way, man. When after the, the Lord himself, he, he told you that John the Baptist was Elijah in the reincarnation, and you're going to read that and say that's not reincarnation. You're a goddamn fool. You're a reprobate, nigga. And it's only a matter of time to the most I kill you, man. Just now they had, what, a 747 drop out there in California. I think it was a bunch of gooks on it, right? It was coming from, uh, I forgot, some gook land. <laughs> I forgot exactly where it was coming from. But there was Asia liner, Asia, a big uh, air, airplane in Korea, a big uh, airport. But basically it was a 747, I believe it was, with over 200 and something passengers right in California that they collapsed while they was landing right on the airport. I think it's just wreckage, man. They didn't say, I didn't hear the, the count of how many people was dead. It might be, they all might be dead, man. You know? And they probably shot that damn plane, plane of gooks out the sky. But the Mosai might have bubbleized in one of them things, man. Mosai might, you know what I'm saying, make an airplane fall on you, nigga. The Mosai could do all those things to you. What? Which think to cause my people to forget my name ah, which think to cause the people to forget my name because you have man talking all this Ahaya that's that's not the Lord's name Ahaya and you made them stupid dumb niggas that follow you forget what the Mosai's name is and guess who else falls in that category reprobate Nate reprobate Nate let's talk about oh the Mosai's name could be uh, a, a, a yo play yogurt 
That's what your boy Nathaniel 7 teaches. Nobody knows the name of the Lord. That's some bullshit. How, here it is, you, you were Israelite, you was in this truth. You learned the Hebrew, you learned the Lord's name. You called upon that name, you prayed into that name. Then you're going to get a briefcase and, and get paid off. And now you're not going to teach that name no more? I got something for you. Go ahead, brother. All right, this is 1 John chapter 3, verse 23. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name. Wait a minute, this is a commandment. A commandment. So don't say, oh, them guys are making that up or making it a doctrine. No, this is a commandment, man. All right, you like to talk about the law. You got reprobate Nate always talking about the law, the law, keeping the laws. Well, guess what? Read that again, brother. This is 1 John 3.23, and this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus the Christ. And, th and this is the commandment. Go ahead. That we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus. That we should believe on the name of his son. And now we all know that... The Lord, who you call Jesus Christ, was what? A Hebrew. And they tell you in the book of Acts, what, the 26th chapter? That when, when he when he came to Paul? Matter of fact, get that real quick. Whoever got it real quick, get it real quick. But we got we to go to the basic scriptures, because y'all act like you don't know what language the Lord spoke. Because you'll have them who say, See, it said Jesus Christ. But that's not the Lord's name. Jesus Christ is just a Greek title. It's a Greek title. It said, believe on the name. So what name was Peter? Was Peter saying, Lord Jesus? Peter didn't speak Greek. Peter spoke Hebrew. So was John going up to him saying, Lord Jesus, Lord Christ, Christ. What name was they using? Exactly, like the brother said, they were using the name of Yahweh Shai. Because they spoke the Hebrew, just like the Lord. Now, go ahead, brother. Read what you got. This is Acts chapter 26, verse 12. Whereupon as I went to Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priest at midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven. Right, that was the Lord himself. When you read on, you're going to find out that was Yahweh Shai. Basically, this is the conversion of Paul on the road to Damascus. When Paul was going to persecute the church because he thought that they was going off or whatever, this is when Yahweh Shai, the Lord, came to him. This is Paul, Paul's conversion, meaning being brought back to the truth. Go ahead. Above the brightness of the sun, shining round about me. Actually being turned with the truth. Turned back with the truth. Go ahead. And then was journeyed with me, and when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue. Saying in the Hebrew tongue. Saying in the Hebrew tongue. And who was this talking to, to Paul? And at that time he was Saul. So go ahead, read on. It's going to tell you who it was. Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, who art thou, Lord? And I said, who art thou, Lord? Showing you that was the Lord speaking to Paul. And what language is the Lord speaking? The Hebrew. When... Like I said, when Peter and John, when they were here, they weren't saying Jesus, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Master Christ. They were calling him by his name, Yahweh Shai. And that's a commandment. That's a commandment to believe in that name. It's not that it's a doctrine, it's a commandment, nigga. Which is part of the doctrine of the Lord. It's more. And he said, I am Yahweh Shai, whom thou persecutest. Right, because Paul was going around uh, persecuting and leading... Uh, other, other believers leading them to prison or leading them to jail or leading them to get put to death because he thought that they were coming with heresies back then. All right? So he was under orders to, to uh, do that, but the Lord, because he was a part of it, so that's why the Lord said, basically, you kicking against the pricks, meaning you fighting against yourself because you're a part of this thing. All right? Which we find out Paul was one of his chosen vessels that he used to go to the Israelite foreigners. All right? But that's, that's something else. So that, that shows you right there that you, you niggas are off, man. But just by you not wanting to deal with the name, you act like that's so minute, that that's insignificant, man. What name are you supposed to tell these people? You're going to tell them about an unknown God? 
And then they try to go to the scripture in, um, in Acts, and you, and you broke that down totally wrong, man. Those were jakes that didn't know, didn't know what was going on. That was bugged out to them Greek and Roman uh, uh, mythologies and stuff. So Paul and them had to set them straight. You niggas are dumb, man. And not that you're dumb, you're just wicked as hell. But the Spirit got the elders up here telling you these things, but y'all don't want to take heed, man. You want to talk talk shit or talk slick, right? Well, there's more on that? No, that was it. Okay. All right, we're going to finish what you got and bring out what you got. First John 3.23, and this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and love one another as he gave us commandment. Right, and love one another. One another, not, not the whole world. That's another thing you got this asshole doing, man. You a big jerk, man. You a straight jerk, nigga. You got this thing talking about you got a, a food soup kitchen. Where's, where did, show me in the scriptures where Yahweh Shai got on the chef's hat and the apron, they got big turkeys and started passing them out in the hood. Show me that in the scriptures, man. Now, Yahweh Shai fed the masters that followed him with loaves. And then even them, he cut them too. He told them what was the main reason why they was following the Lord. They wanted to eat. If somebody is homeless and they hungry and you giving out food, what they going to do? They going to follow you. They going to do whatever you tell them to do. So that's not what the Lord said when, when you saw me naked, when you saw me hungry. That's not what the Lord's talking about, man. You're not supposed to be going out there. First of all, the scriptures say, know, know to whom you do good to. You don't just do good to anybody, man. And first of all, the scriptures tell you every brother ain't a brother. And the Lord said who his brother was, who his mother was, who his sister was. If they're not doing the work of the Lord, then they're not your brother, man. Sorry, brother. Ecclesiastes 12, that same scripture you quoted, it tells you in there to hold your money back. Right. And when you deal with certain people, because certain people is out there to hustle. Right. So you don't just, anybody that comes up to you that talk about they need money, you right. give them money. First of all, you got to prove them. You got to check them. And the scriptures tell you, hold your money back. Don't just give them your money. The, the brother's going to read it. He's going to do it. Sirach 12 and 1. When thou wilt do good, right? They said when you will do good, there's nothing wrong with doing good. If you got, if it's a brother that's in the faith, it's not wrong with saying, hey, you straight brother, you need something to eat. That's brother. But that's for, to a brother you do that for. Go ahead. When thou wilt do good, know to whom thou doest it. Right, know to whom thou doest it. So in other words, if you got a stranger walking in the street, you don't just right way uh, give him money or give him food. And like the brother said, they, they gonna, the elder said, they're going to take advantage of that, man. They're going to take advantage of that, man. So that's common sense, man. You ain't, man, you ain't playing with a no deck, nigga. Not even a full deck, but you ain't playing with no deck, man. You're just an empty box of cards, man. You ain't got none of the cards all on the ground. No two. But basically, every, everything that you learned, the knowledge, you had the knowledge, but you it's all you, you forgot it, man. You must have dropped it on the ground or something. And I'm talking to you, reprobate, Nate. I'm talking to you. Right, you had the dream. You, you told Elder Tahar years ago, Elder Tahar, when you told him, he had told us about it. You told him that you had a dream that you had, there was a oil over your head, if I'm saying it right, and you said that you had lost the oil, but then by the end of the dream, you got the oil back. So that's the reason why Elder Tahar says he thinks the most High might bring you out of that. But right now, you a reprobate nigga right now. You are reprobate. Go ahead. Um, no to whom thou doest it, so shalt thou be thanked for thy benefits. Right, and so should you be thanked for your benefits. Because what if you help out a, a, a thief? You don't, you don't feel like a damn asshole, man, after he robs everything. You take a thief or, or, or a murderer into your house, after he cleans your house out, you don't feel like a damn idiot, man. When they ask you, well, did you know who this guy, did you know this guy? No, I just seen he needed help. That's why the scriptures say, never trust thine enemy, man. For as iron rusted, so doth his wickedness. Right? Do good to the godly man. Right, to the godly man. Meaning a brother, a brother that's doing the right thing. And, and 
Y'all already know that's how we, we all, all the kids.